guys, welcome back to another Quick and Dirty Bait Talk video. This week, we're gonna talk about the bladed jig. Now, I got turned on to the bladed jig a couple years ago when I was fishing a lake, and I started off fishing for largemouth bass around docks, hoping for some smallmouth too, and I did catch some smallmouth around the docks too. And I, so I caught largemouth and smallmouth around docks. So I might be mainly a uh, green pumpkin color, but this is a white. Uh, I, I like to throw either green pumpkin, white or white and chartreuse. I do have other colors in the box, but these are the three colors I typically throw the most. And they come in a bunch of different sizes. You know, this is a quarter ounce. So I like to throw a quarter ounce when I'm fishing a little bit shallower of water, because I like to, I like to slow, slow roll it. And I tend to get more bites slow rolling it. Now, if the fish are wanting to chase it, I will increase the size there and I will go to maybe uh, three eighths or a half ounce and I'll start to burn it more. And then sometimes I can get those reaction strikes that way. But these baits are uh, really good around docks, rocks, boulders, kind of same thing, but rocky shores, big boulders, uh, weed edges, in and out of sparse weeds. They are somewhat, uh, I'm not gonna say weedless, but they do go through the weeds fairly easily. Um, nothing very thick though, because you're gonna get hung up. And so your trailer of choice on there, this happens to be a hog farmer um, trailer. And I mean, I, I've used a uh, 10,000 fish yodel worm that crushed the smallmouth and walleyes for me. And this one's actually a new uh, trailer that I'm using. I haven't tried it too many times yet on the bladed jig, but that's why it's rigged right now. And it's actually tied up. So I've been throwing this around some and the bladed jigs are, it, it, they're a great way to just find some bites. And, and if you're not sure of, you know, where they're at, just start tossing this around. If you don't have a live scope, just toss it around, start fishing around. And I will throw this in a lot of different conditions because sometimes you just gotta figure out what the bass really want. If it's calm out, I will still throw this because you just never know. I've caught fish in almost every kind, I shouldn't say every kind, but in, I've caught fish in calm conditions, very windy conditions and in the middle with a bladed jig. These things are super versatile. You can fish them a bunch of different ways. You can slow roll them, you can burn them, you can fish them deep. They have, they go up to one ounce, one and a half ounce. You got guys, you, you can do a lot of different things with a bladed jig. I feel like it's very versatile. Yes, there are gonna be some times where the fish are not gonna want the bladed jig. And you're gonna have to find, you can use a different lure, but that's okay. I found that a lot of times this thing still does get bites. I've gone to quite a few different lakes and rivers that fish bite the bladed jig. So this is a good one to keep in your arsenal, keep in your in your box of uh, you know tackle box in your boat, your backpack, however you travel. I love the bladed jig, guys, and I I tend to throw it on um, lighter jigs. I'll throw. Let's see, about 14 pound fluorocarbon. So a quarter to three eighths, I'll, I'll throw on a 14 pound fluorocarbon line. If I'm gonna go heavier than a three eighths, like a half, three quarter or heavier than that, I will put it on 17 pound fluorocarbon line. And the reason why is because I like the heavier line for when I'm setting the hook and just for comfort, honestly. You can throw a heavier bladed jig on a 14 pound fluorocarbon line. That is, there's no issue with that there, but I'm usually throwing around cover. So I want something a little bit heavier. If you are gonna fish deeper, it is more beneficial to use a lighter, uh, so like a 14 pound fluorocarbon line over the 17, because you are gonna be able to get it a little bit deeper, easier, and when you reel it, it's gonna stay down in the strike zone longer. So, all right guys, that's it for this week's Quick and Dirty Bait Talk video. The bladed jig, super versatile. You can toss it just about anywhere, docks, rocks, weeds, you know, you name it. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching these videos. And you know, we got some more stuff coming up here soon. These these quick and dirty bait talk videos, we are starting to run out of uh, lures to talk about. So we might not be doing these every week from here on out, unless I find something during my other fishing videos that I create for you guys that would really stand out and that would really be a perfect candidate for this. So guys, thanks again. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, help me grow this channel, and we'll catch you in the next video.